This is Mouton. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The presentation of the National Film Awards attracted a great gathering of film people at the Dorchester. Lord and Lady Rothermere received the guests, who included Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Rank, Stanley Holloway and his wife, Sally Gray and Glynis Johns, Michael Redgrave, Alice Marble, world tennis champion, Phyllis Calvert, close runner-up to Margaret Lockwood. Margaret Lockwood herself with um, a movie tone commentator, and Lord Rothermere spoke on the purpose of the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Film Award was founded with the object of focusing the attention of the public, both here and overseas, on the great advance in the technique of filmmaking and acting which has come to the film industry in recent years. Then Lady Rothermere presented the trophy for the best male performance in British films of the war years to James Mason. Well, this is uh, neither the time nor the place to start saying all the wrong things, so I'll content myself with just thanking all those readers of the um, Daily Mail who um, were responsible for this particular outcome. You can see that this isn't a thing to carry off lightly. Margaret Lockwood received the trophy for the best actress. Ladies and gentlemen, my feelings tonight are a little difficult to put into words. I would, though, like to say that tonight is the proudest moment of my film career. May I thank you very sincerely and from the bottom of my heart, all of you who've made it possible for me to be standing here tonight with this trophy in my arms. Good night and God bless you. The award for the best British film went to the producer and director of The Way to the Stars, Anatole de Grunewald and Anthony Asquith. All the awards were the result of votes cast by film goers, the Silver Star trophies being presented by the Daily Mail. As Lord Rothermere announced, it's hoped to make the awards an annual national institution. <laughs>